This is the plaintiff, Fantasia Govan. She says she was living in an apartment that a Fennin's grandmother owned. And one day, she came home and her kitchen and bathroom were dismantled and rendered useless. That a Fennin just decided to, out of the blue one day, do renovations. Those renovations took months. She didn't have a working bathroom or kitchen. And is suing for $3,500 for mental anguish and her missing belongings. This is the defendant, Candace Green. She says the plaintiff wasn't even paying any rent in her grandmother's house. She was technically squatting. She was told numerous times to vacate. The plaintiff refused. And she has every right to do renovations if she wants to because she couldn't get the plaintiff to leave. This lawsuit is completely bogus. And if anyone's owed money, it's her. She's accused of dismantling an apartment. All parties, please raise your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the docket, the plaintiff was living in an apartment the defendant's grandma owned and says one day the kitchen and the bathroom were just dismantled. But the defendant says the plaintiff was a freeloader. It's the case of squatter. She hardly knew her. Thank you, Douglas. Okay, in. Fantasia Govan. Yes, ma'am. You are suing Candace Green for $3,500 for missing I, uh, personal items, cost of moving, one day's lost wages, and emotional distress. Oh, and forced homelessness. I didn't even know forced homelessness was a cause of action. But. All righty, let's hear from you. What happened? Okay, um, it's unfortunate we even have to be here. Like, me and Candace, I've known her for like six years. You know, like, we used to chill, hang out. I did smoke weed, she drank liquor, we chilled together, stuff like that, you know? We was really cool, you know? I'ma keep it real with you, straight out the gate, you know? You could have kept it real with me without telling me that. <laughs> right. That was an option for right. you. Um, so what happened is in June of 2013, I moved in with my girlfriend and I was staying there. Um, she has the apartment, the apartment. Is this your girlfriend who you moved in with or this yes, is somebody else? That's my girlfriend. In June of when? 2013. Okay. Yes. Are, are you related to her? Yes. Stand up please. What's your relationship with her? That's my little sister. Okay. So go ahead. Okay. Um, the. My girlfriend was given an apartment by her great grandmother who owns the brownstone that the apartment is in. Um, I, I have her lease. What does given the apartment mean? She um, took care of her grandmother while she was sick, and her grandmother gave her the apartment. Do you mean in a will? Do you mean no. pass no, it down? No, she let her. She let her have it and rent it to her. I, I have her lease. The lease is in her name. Do you pay rent there? I was at one point. Yes, when? I was. Um, when I first got there in 2012. When? 2012. Yeah. When did you stop paying rent? Um, I was. It's kind of hard because I was on it's public not hard. assistance. When did you stop paying rent? I don't know because public assistance, they had cut me off. Okay. But I kept reapplying. Why did they cut you off? Um, for certain, for not going to back to work programs for sometimes. What? Not going back to work programs. All right. So you stopped paying rent at the place in 2013? 2012? 2013. It was continuous. Like it's okay. So, and, and you continue to live there? Yes. And... Um, this is your great grandmother or your yes. grandmother? Great great grandmother. Great grandmother. Is your great grandmother alive? Yes. All right. So did she? I guess she, you know, just understood and was fine with it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So how many people were living there? At the time, there was myself, my girlfriend Candace, her mother, her stepfather, and another young man. Okay. And Who's who here? Who's sitting over there? That's my mom and my aunt. Come on up, mom. She gets out of there, and what happens? At some point, somebody decides to renovate that place because she's gone. Where did you go? I had um, moved to Texas to help with my friend for a couple of months. You moved to months. where? Texas? Texas. I went to visit, yeah, to okay. Texas. Okay, you went to visit? It for was a visit because I was- How long did you stay there? For two, like two, three weeks because of everything that happened. I came right back. Okay, so uh, you find out, so what, ha what is it that happened? What happened is the day that she left, the day that she left, a man rang the bell. Candace, at this point, was staying on the first floor with the aunt in that apartment. Right, okay. Right. So what happened is when he rang the bell, I just looked at the And just hold room. on one second. And why were you staying on the first floor with your aunt? Because uh, they had broken into my room and... Who's they? Fantasia and Victoria. I had a lock on my door. Um, and they took the stuff that was in the side room and put it into the room that I was actually in where the lock was and they pushed my bed against the wall So there was no way for me to get in there. But or why? Sleep. Why would they do such a thing to you? Were you guys not they getting along? They wanted me to get out. All right So you ended up uh, in the ants and then what happened? 
Long story short, I had left. She just came upstairs and just did the, the renovations because we had got into it before I left over some grapes. I have proof of why she was like, not in the apartment She went anymore. in, you went in and did a renovations, renovations in the apartments. So who authorized that? My grandmother. Okay. And what about your great-grandmother? Oh, who sorry, my great-grandmother. Your great-grandmother authorized yes. it? And what was this about? Um, I was trying, actively trying to get an apartment, but you know, real estate agents, they go back and forth, they disappear for a little while. I don't know what was going on. The lady wouldn't respond to me. So great-grandmother told me, she kept asking me to stay. She said, I don't want you to leave. I never wanted you to leave. I never wanted you to go anywhere, so stay. I said, I can't stay up there with Victoria. We're having too many issues. I need to leave. So she kept asking me to stay, and then Victoria left. Well, from what I was told, she moved out and moved to Texas or to North Carolina, wherever, and she wasn't coming back. Mom, where did your daughter go? She went to Texas. Was she moving there or was she She said didn't? she was moving. Okay, but then what was going to happen with her girlfriend? Right. Exactly. <laughs> Nobody cared. No, right, including Victoria. So, what did no, Victoria say about her girlfriend? I, she said that, she did say that she was going to leave. She did tell me that she was going to leave, but not right away because she was supposed to give me the key. <laughs> but she never left right away. Wait. Now, where she was going to go, I don't know. That's what she said. Were you going to move? <laughs> Absolutely not. Well, Absolutely you were going to stay there until when? Well, th honestly, the plan was when she went to Texas, I told her she wasn't really doing anything up here. I told her, I said, if you could get a job and stuff like that, if we can, like, I'll, you know, I'll relocate and go to Texas. That was the plan. Okay. There so was you were no, leave. There was no for a little while. The day Tori left, these renovations started. What ended up happening? Where are you living right now? In a shelter. Okay. Together? Yes. Okay. What ended up happening? What ended up happening is when I came upstairs, um, my kitchen sink, my bathroom sink was in my room. The washing machine was in the middle of my bedroom. The, my front door was no longer on the hinges. They took it off. They took all the doors off. I have Do you, have, you have a video? Yes, ma'am. Let me see that. Right, they're renovating the place. Yeah, so I've been forced to pack up, so I'm starting to pack a lot of my belongings. But You've been forced by who to pack up? But I could, it was unlivable. What happened is- Did you was, ever talk to, to um, did, did you guys, either of you, ever talk to great-grandma? Victoria, I imagine you had um, to talk to great- I great did, I spoke, when I came back, it was just attitude. From great-grandma? Grandma, she just was like, she didn't want to have nothing to do with me because one okay. minute it's... All right, so you're, you're suing for $3,500. Most of it is emotional distress. Mm -hmm. What's the emotional distress? This, that they renovated their place? Right, the whole situation is very emotional. Like, I've been to five Memphis shelters over the, since April. You do understand that you're not paying rent and you haven't in years. And you do understand that that family owns it. And yes. you do understand that that family told her Get your act together and get out. So what is it? Yeah. So what you're nobody saying? Never told nobody her that. told nobody me that. Told her that. Gram Great no. grandma didn't tell grandma, you. You said no, it was attitude. Foot. What was she? She was upset because I don't know. It's a lot of things. Right. So what did she tell you? So how many people live under the same roof before there is automatically a conflict? I'm going to go over here. It would be two. <laughs> uh, to only two. That's it. That's all it takes. That's how well you get along with people. <laughs> yeah. Where are you from? Louisiana. Where? Lafayette. Interesting, okay. Uh, how many people? What's the magic number? Three. Why three? That's interesting. Because let's say you have your boyfriend and a kid, and then yourself, you can get in arguments. So. Oh, you made it a family. You, all of a sudden you had a kid? <laughs> oh, wow, okay, going inside the courtroom. She was just, she was mad at me. She said, um, I don't want you up there at one okay, point. Okay, yeah, that's exactly what point. I said. Great grandma says, no, you can't stay there anymore. All right, mm -hmm. so. You're renovating it. Your plan is to go ahead and move up there. You, you apparently, it sounds like, I don't know, 
Sounds like maybe the family wants you to get your act together and the family feels like she should stop but, being punished because she did get her act together. Uh, and so, uh, you know, they're kind of trying to balance things out. What I would like to know is why are you here? I'm here. They threw out some of your stuff. What happened is while I was packing up my stuff, there were things that I was looking for that I couldn't find. There was a pair of sneakers that I okay, couldn't find. Okay, what evidence you have that they, they, they threw that out or something? Yeah. I mean, the only yeah. thing I have is the fact that there was a lot of things, like, bagged up and that the witness... That you left behind? Huh? Did I leave it behind? No, like, when I came, when I came upstairs, there were things that were always bagged up okay. at a time. Some of them were mi- So some things were missing yes. from inside those bags? because there were things that were packed and thrown what away. What was missing from inside those bags? Okay, inside, I was missing a pair of sneakers, I was missing a pair of shoes, and I was missing, like, numerous, like, DVDs that I had. And okay, that's- do you have any idea where those are? Not at this point, but when that did happen, we told her that, well, my mom relayed the message that we were going to put her things in the hallway because she took forever to come get them out of the apartment. Where was she? Was she living there or she wasn't living there? So she was li- living there. And then my mother told me that she had left. So had she left? and then she what was coming back to get it. Because she gave me the keys. And mm-hmm. when did that happen? And oh, I don't remember. That. Okay. So and then after that, there were still bags there? Yes. yes. Okay. For how long after that? Months. 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 Okay. And then did you tell her you got to get your bags out of there? Yes. And I told Victoria to come and get it. And? She came and got a few things. So she went through whatever she went through and she took whatever she wanted to take out and she told me to throw the rest of it away. And did you throw them away? I sure did. Oh, and you're suing Ms. Green. Why? If it sounds like it's mama threw it out because she says you told her. Whether it's true or not, it's mama Honor, threw it out. We're done. We're done. We're done. They don't have to pay for you to move. They don't have to pay for emotional distress. And I have your word against theirs on whether you were leaving stuff behind. Your own mother's saying that you came, had a chance to take stuff, and then left everything and told her to throw it out. That was Victoria's belongings. No. I yeah, I, I know. I know. That's testimony also. Mm-hmm. Okay? So, no, Fantasia, that family's not going to pay you $3,500. I suggest that everybody try to get their act together around here. So I hope that the day comes when you guys can patch up whatever's going on between you because she's as much your daughter as she is. Out loud so she can hear you because I don't think she's listening. She's looking. I love the both of you and both of you are my children. On your lawsuit against her, zero. Good luck, folks. All right, step in here. Uh, what's what's uh, your reaction to this? I mean, my reaction to the situation is she didn't take time to really listen to what happened. Victoria, what's going through your mind? Nothing, a lot. It's just a lot. A lot, right? Yeah. What did you hear when your mom looked over to you and just said she loved you and all? Nothing. Nothing at all. It looks like something. All right, you were saying? I mean, like, the whole situation is just sad because we were friends, you know, and... What about the family going on here? The family? I mean, this this isn't a... I've always tried to play media between her and her sister. So, you know, as far as it being family, I always understood that. Don't you want your family? Yeah, but they... It's it's a big thing. Like, they just lie about a lot of stuff. All right, okay. All right, right. right, follow Officer McIntosh here. All right, come on in here, um... What's your reaction to this? Um, honestly, I really just want to be left alone. Like, this all happened in the summer, so I don't understand why I'm being attacked. Let me uh. ask you, uh, you, you see Victoria out here. You see what condition she's in. She can't even speak. Why? I don't know. I just want my girls to get along. That's all I want. At the end of the day, I just want yeah, them to get along. Why isn't it happening? I don't know. They, they just argue all the time now. Now they don't even speak to each other, so I just want them to get Can you better. bridge this? Can you fix I'm it? I'm trying. I'm trying. All right. Harvey? I got to say, it's a great gesture by the judge that these cases are about money, but they're really not always about money, and if the judge can help repair a family relationship, it's a good thing.